Ho Van Lai is uh, 13 years old this year. Um, two years ago, come August 2002, um, Lai, his brother, and uh, four cousins were playing with uh, cluster munition. It's being kicked from one kid to another, like a hacky sack, and it goes off in this group of children. It went off in that group of children and it killed the two girls immediately. Lai, however, was the guy who was lofting it into the air. So he lost, he lost half of his lower leg. Um, over the four months he spent in the hospital because he had an infection in the bone, bit by bit he lost more and more of his leg. Um, to the point now where on one leg he's got a stump like this and the other foot, you know, was it was really rough. Um, you know, it got put back together but um, it's not serviceable. He, he wouldn't be able to walk on it and wasn't able to walk on it. Um, he lost an arm, he lost an eye, he lost the thumb on this hand. The first time I met Lai was at the first group medical assessment we did at Quantra General Hospital. Lai, Lai was unable to, uh, Lai was unable to uh, deal with strangers. He, he, I mean, he was completely overwhelmed by the, the fact of his disfigurement and e every other thing and, and everybody paying all this attention to him. And it was a really difficult day for him. And he said he would not go for any further treatment. Um, but without revising the stumps, without another operation to, to sever the bone and make everything clean and tidy it up, there was no way that he could um, experience independent mobility without a wheelchair. And the area he lives in is really sandy, you know, anywhere but the road or the path to his house. I mean, he's stuck. So, a while after the medical assessment, we we went to visit his family and asked Lai, you know, you know, in a much quieter circumstance, if he would, if he was interested in in any further treatment. And uh, the boy who said he'd never go back to the hospital agreed to go back to Da Nang because of the, the compassion and the, the gentleness which with the doctors handled him, the guys who came to examine him from Da Nang, he felt confident to go there. We sent him down to Da Nang and uh, he had both surgeries. He recuperated very quickly. Um, they had him up in, uh, in you know, a walker with the with, uh, you know, the first draft, so to speak, of his prosthetic. He worked with that for a time. Um, nobody thought that uh, he was actually going to rise and, and walk and be able to walk at all. And within six weeks, um, everybody in the orthopedic rehabilitation section was, they, they were inspired and they were awed by the will in this child. He wants to play football again, you know. He was a good football player, and he wants to play football. That's all he wants. He wants to play football.